Hi everyone and welcome to today's 20 minute practice. We're going to begin this class standing at the top of our mats. Bring your feet shoulder width apart. Allow the hands to rest by your side. Gently tuck the chin and then begin to roll the spine and the head all the way down into a forward fold, allowing the upper body to hang heavy. Grab onto opposite elbows. Begin to breathe into the back of the legs, the lower back, bending the knees as much as you like here. We're going to be staying quite low in today's practice, feeling quite grounded and really working through the legs. So give yourself some time here to feel into which parts of the body need your attention today. As we spend time here, allow the arms to fall away from the elbows and the legs to straighten a little bit more. Take the fingertips to the mat and then step both feet back Lift the tailbone high, coming into downward facing dog. Press evenly through all 10 finger pads. Let the head rest in between the shoulders. And then find any movement that feels good here. Perhaps stillness, perhaps bending one leg and straightening the other. Moving fast, moving slow, not moving at all. Once again, just taking the time, feeling into the back body and the upper body, letting tension drop off of the shoulders towards the ground. Roll the body forward, coming on to all fours, and then press back to sit on the heels. Find a tall spine, bring the hands to the base of the spine, interlace the hands, and then peel the hands towards the ground, opening the chest, chin, lifting the gaze. And then release the head to center. Take the knees wide, keeping the hands together. Fold forward into a wide-legged child's pose with the arms reaching towards the sky. Allow the forehead to rest on your mat. Breathe into the shoulders. Notice any sensations in the hips. And then peel your way back to sit on the heels. Gently release the hands. Interlace them in front of you. And then imagine someone pulling you to the front of the mat. Round through the spine as you draw the belly in. Tuck the chin to your chest. And then inhale, release. Let's roll onto all fours. Keeping the tailbone nice and high, walk the hands forward. Coming into puppy pose, allow the upper body to relax towards the ground. The head perhaps rests on the mat. And staying here, or maybe gently rocking over to the right. And then gently leaning over to the left. Keep breathing as you extend those fingertips. 
feeling engaged from the middle finger right through the shoulder all the way up to the hips. Press your way back into a tabletop, bringing the hands under the shoulders. Inhale, lift the gaze, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin to chest, press the ground away from you. Inhale. Finding that arch in the back and the lift in the gaze. And exhale, finding the opposite of this movement. Moving with the breath, moving at your own pace. Making your cat cows work for your spine today. On your next inhale, find a neutral spine. And then extend the right leg back behind you. Press the toes into the mat and gently rock back and forth over the wrists. Getting into both the wrists and the toes here. Inhale, lift the right leg behind you, keeping the toes flexed, and then exhale, draw the knee into your nose, round the spine. Inhale, extend, and then exhale, press the right foot up to the top of the mat, stepping it in between the hands. Finding a low lunge, you can stay on the fingertips here, or perhaps rise up and press into the right knee. Allow the hips to sink a little deeper. Taking a beautiful stretch through that left hip flexor. Begin to shift the weight back as you straighten the front leg. Bring the fingertips to the mat, flex the front toes. And then finding your half splits, stay high on the fingers, maybe come onto the palms or fold over top of the right thigh. Know that with time, your muscles will relax. They will begin to lengthen and deeper folds will become available. Just listening to your body today, where it is right now in this moment. Come high on the fingertips, bend once again into the right knee. Kickstand the left foot behind you and then walk the hands to the inside of the right thigh. Inhale, lift the left arm and exhale, rise up to warrior two on the knees. Place the left hand on the ground behind you, straighten the front leg and then reach the right arm up overhead. Finding a side body stretch. Ground through the left hand. Engage the inner right thigh. Inhale, rise up to warrior two on the knees. Bend the right knee. Frame the front foot. Return the left foot behind you. Coming through our low lunge. Ground through the left hand. Inhale, reach up with the right. Gaze down at the mat, plant both hands down on the inside of the right thigh, maybe heel towing that right foot a little further to the edge of the mat. Lizard pose. Option to stay high on the hands here, or maybe come onto the forearms. 
whatever is accessible and whatever feels the best. Begin to heel toe the right foot back in to center. Frame the front foot with the hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and then step forward to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Find a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to standing, bring the hands to touch overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, rise up with the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And with the exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step the legs back, lift to the hips, downward facing dog. Roll the body forward, coming onto the knees. Untuck the toes. And then inhale, extend the left leg behind you, pressing the toes into the mat. Gently rock back and forth over the wrists. This time feeling into the left toes. And then extend the left leg right behind you. Inhale, draw the knee up towards the nose, round the spine. Exhale, send the leg back. And then step the left foot forward. In between the hands at the top of the mat, staying high on the fingertips. Or perhaps rising up in your low lunge and pressing into the left knee. Begin to shift the weight back, straighten the front leg, flex the front toes, and then finding a fold over the left thigh. Half splits on the left side. Notice how each side feels in comparison to the other. And then bend into the left knee, kickstand the right foot behind you, walk the hands in through center, and rise up to warrior two on the knees. Place the right hand down on the ground beside you, straighten the left leg, and extend the right arm overhead. Gate pose. Keep gazing up beside the bicep. And inhale, rise up, coming to warrior two on the knees. Frame out the front foot with the hands. Bring the right toes back behind you. Coming into lizard, walk the hands to the inside of the left thigh. And on an inhale, reach up with the right hand. Finding a twist. Release the right hand down to the mat. Maybe heel toe the left foot closer to the outside edge of the mat. And breathe into the hip flexors here. Always listening to our bodies on the day.
not where we want to be or where we'd like to be. Let's frame the front foot, lift the back toes and knees and step forward to a forward fold. Inhale, find a flat back, lengthen through the back of the legs. Exhale, fold. Step both feet back, find your downward facing dog. Tailbone lifted to the sky. One more full round of breath here. And on your next inhale, roll the body forward, coming onto the knees. Cross the legs behind you and make your way to a seat. Crossing the legs however you like. Find a tall spine and then drop the head over to the right shoulder. Maybe pulling on the side of the head. Stretching through the left side of the neck. Bring the head through center and then drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Finding that gentle pull with the assist of a hand if you like. And releasing. Allow the chin to drop to the chest. And staying here, or perhaps interlacing the hands at the base of the spine, giving the head an extra pull towards the chest. Breathe through the back body and through the back of the neck. Be very gentle here. Bring yourself back to an upright position. And then planting the left hand beside you, sweep the right arm up and overhead. Ground through the right hip. Pressing through the right seat. Breathe into the side body. And then take the right hand to the ground beside you. Inhale, left arm sweeps up. Keep pulling the left hip down to the ground. Staying centered and grounded through all points of contact here. Come back upright, taking a twist. Let's bring that left arm to the right knee. Gaze back over the right shoulder. And then finding the twist on the other side, take the left hand behind you. Gaze back over the left shoulder. Release the twist, come back through center. Close down the eyes for a moment and think of one thing that you are grateful for for your body today. Bring the hands to heart center. Maybe find a gentle bow of gratitude for this one thing. Thank you for practicing with me today. I'll see you in the next class.